For those of you who are seeking traction options at home, I've got three that you can try, all a little bit different depending on your situation, what you've got at home, if you've got any help. Now, obviously in the clinic, we do traction for lumbar spine, muscle spasm, disc bulges, problems in the lower back. It gives relief due to the gapping of that lumbar spine a little bit, drops down some of that muscle spasm and muscle pain. Really effective to try and get people moving. If you're at home, we try and get them replicating that at home because in physio, whatever works in the clinic, we've got to try and work out, oh, how do I get that person doing that stuff at home? So here's three options for you guys. If you need lumbar spine traction, here we go. First one, if you've got nothing else, no one at home, no bands, nothing, all you've got is a block. Now this is a yoga block. Hey, if you don't have a yoga block, you can use a book but something about that sort of size, okay? This is gonna give you a little bit of lumbar spine traction. So, what we're gonna get Pam to do, when you're lying on your back in a crook lying position, knees bent, you're going to do a little bridge, push through your heels, lift your pelvis. This goes under your pelvis, so under the sacrum, not your lumbar spine, okay? So that triangle sacrum part, that's where it's sitting, where your pelvis is leaning on. So that point there, you should find that the lumbar spine is clear from that block, okay? So the lumbar spine's clear from that block, all right? So it's basically the weight of the pelvis is on there, okay? Now, there's no traction at this point usually, but what she's gonna do is lower that left leg slowly, make sure she's okay, lower the right leg, all right? And then what she's gotta try and do is relax over that block. Now, she's over the block, so the weight of her legs on this side is going to give a little bit of traction that way. The weight of her upper body that side is going to give it a little bit of traction that way. It's going to be just a bit, and you can feel that, right? You feel a little bit of stretch in her lower back. Now for those people, some people might not find that being in that extension position, it's too much, okay? This may not be for you. So this is only for people who don't have any other equipment, but can actually tolerate a little bit of extension with your lumbar spine traction. Very easy one to do. You're only going to do this for about a minute at a time, okay? So minute at a time, then she bends her knees, one at a time, up she comes, does a bridge, takes it out, okay, back down, waits for half a minute and does it again. She might be doing sort of three, four, five of those to give her her traction and give her that relief of that muscle pain. So that's the first one you've got to try at home. Second thing, if you find, and this will be, put it this way, that's the least amount of traction. The second one, is gonna be the second most amount of traction. If you've got a big power band like this, this is probably the one you need. Now, a normal, just non-elastic strap is not gonna work because you need the elasticity to give you the traction. Wrap that around something solid. If you're in a gym, hey, use a, use a brake, use a pole like that. If you're at home, maybe you could use a big heavy dining room table, something like that. Now, this has gotta go around the back of her calves. The thing about that is it's gonna bite into her calves, she's not gonna like it. So use a towel. This is just gonna pad out her calf, it won't hurt, therefore she'll be able to do it for longer. So if she puts feet in there, all right, think about that's going around the back top of the calves, then you've gotta get this in to pad it out, so we'll just put that in as well, so she can put it out. It's a bit fiddly to get all this set up, but if you can get this set up well, it's gonna work well for you. Little note on this one, you're gonna need some decent hamstrings to hold this on, because she's gotta hold or her feet in and fight the tension here and then relax back. So what she's gonna do is try and edge her way backwards, right? So she moves back with her back, moves her feet in, back, feet. This is still anchoring that way. So the more she goes backwards, the more stretch she's got on here, the more it's gonna be on the hamstrings. So don't go so far that it's too hard on the hamstrings. But once she's got it there, she digs her heels in, this should be nice and comfy, then she's gotta try and relax the back. Okay, so you've got to spend some time, minute, maybe up to two minutes, trying to get her back, just thinking about it, letting it relax. The problem with this, is a little bit of problem with this, is she's still got to hang on with the hammy. So these are some sort of active work here. So you're not going to get a full release of the lower back. You're only going to get a little bit, but hey, it's going to be more than using this. But you need the equipment. But if you've got this sort of stuff, you can lie on your back. The good thing about this is in neutral, you can lie there. So it may be better than being on a block, um, and you're gonna get more traction going on there. Feel all right? Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so that's number two. Now number three, you'll need a partner. So for the third one, if you're getting the traction done, you're the person on the bed, and I am your partner or someone who can help. Now, you're gonna to have to be up on a bed or an elevated table or something like that because the person here has to be standing to do it. Otherwise, it's too hard on their back. If they're kneeling down, it's a little bit too hard. Again, grab your towel. It can be a beach towel, bath towel, whatever. Person's lying prone, feet off the end of the bed like that, and then you put, this is a crucial part, towel over top of the back of the ankles, okay, back of the Achilles. Wrap that towel around under and in, under and in, pretty simple stuff, okay. You need to be able to grab, have enough towel to grab it, okay, on both ends like that. Now obviously, Pam's prone, okay, so she's in a little bit of extension, so again, you've got to be able to tolerate extension to do this. This is really effective. If you can tolerate extension, you're gonna get traction and extension at the same time, which is great for discs when they're really a bit angry. Then, once that person's grabbed that, they need to sort of be nice and white, so nice and stable. Hold on, straight arms, and then just lean backwards into it. So my, she's sort of counteracting my body weight. It's as long as she doesn't slip off the bed, and that person doesn't fall backwards, I can just stand there and hang there. Now, you've got to have strong forearms ready for this, but usually people can hang on for a minute or so, and that'll give her a really nice release because she can just lie there and relax, and obviously the person's traction is enough to try and generate some gapping in there, but you've got to sort of give some feedback. Is it too much, is it too little? Um, that sort of thing. And obviously when they release, they just come off, let it go for a little bit, they might reposition, that sort of thing, okay? And depending on how much that person can tolerate is how many you do. Um, obviously this one requires a partner, so I know some people at home, you know, they have their spouse or partner, they'll do it a couple of times and they sort of give up, but um, if you can get someone to do this on a regular basis, if you need lumbar spine traction, this is probably the best one or the most effective one to do. Obviously it requires someone else. And so you can always choose those other two if, if you don't have someone like this. So I hope that helps. If you need traction, give these three a crack. See you next time.